children good morning how are you children yes you are fine and safe fourth class children lesson number 13 types of cloth take your textbooks children take your textbooks okay yes let us learn about different types of cloth material making cloth from fibers coloring and paint printing of cloth taking care of cloths think okay lena got a beautiful silk frock as a birthday gift from her aunt it was soft and smooth to touch she wondered why the clothes we wear look and feel different why some clothes were rough while some others were smooth remembering based on the season and occasion we wear different types of clothes the look and feel of the clothes are different some of them make us feel warm some keep us cool some are smooth and shiny clothes look and feel different because of the differences in the material used to make them cloth is made up of fibers fiber is a thin like hair you will see these fibers at any tailor's shop turn the page children that is page number 22 natural fibers fibers are two main types natural fibers and artificial means synthetic fibers these are obtained from natural resources they can be plant fibers or animal fibers a few examples of natural fibers are cotton jute silk and wool cotton and jute are plant fibers while silk and wool are animal fibers wool is obtained from the fleece of sheep or goat we also get wool from hair of rabbits yak and cam camels silk fiber is drawn from the cocoon of a silkworm artificial synthetic fibers these are human made fibers for example nylon rayon when artificial fibers are thrown after use they do not break down in the soil like natural fibers hence they are harmful to the environment we must avoid using them understanding now we know our clothes are formed from fibers but how do we make clothes from fibers cotton and jute are most widely used natural fibers cotton cloth from cotton plant cotton plants are grown in places with long hot and dry summers they need plenty of sunshine to grow the flowers develop into green fruits pods with seeds in them white soft fluffy fibers of different lengths grow around the seeds to form balls page number 23 let us see the steps to make cotton cloth from a cotton plant when the pods burst open we can see the fibers inside the balls are then collected from the plants the cotton picked from the plants has seeds in it the seeds of cotton are separated using a machine then the cotton is fed into a machine to comb and straighten the fibers the fiber is then spun into yarn using spinning machines yarn is a continuous thread formed by grouping and twisting the fibers we also do this at home while making wicks for oil lamps weaving is done by passing the threads or yarn over the under each other to make a cloth or fabric the cotton fabric is cut and stitched into different types of cloths jute cloth from jute plant jute is grown during the rainy season jute is mainly grown in west bengal bihar and assam in india to make jute fibers the stem of the jute plants is soaked in water for 2 or 3 days then it is pulled out and dried the fibers are then woven 
into threads and draw ropes and ropes these threads are used to make jute cloths and gunny bags application cloths look beautiful and different due to the different colors and patterns on them the fabric is colored through dyeing and printing in printing multiple colors are used to make patterns on the fabric dyeing can be done before weaving in the yarns into fabric using single or many colors okay children page number 24 natural dyes and chemical dyes are used to color the cloths from animals and plants example flowers and roots of the plants vegetables from chemicals example okay children mawine it is a first synthetic chemical dye that was unexpectedly discovered in 1856 different methods are used for dyeing and printing cloths let us see some of them mixing colors attractive colors are made by mixing the colors while dyeing different types of colors combinations are used to make them prettier block printing a block of wood with a specific design is used for this the block is dipped in dye and pressed on the cloth to be printed the same process is repeated several times to get a beautiful pattern pattern on the cloth it is one of the oldest methods of fabric printing we can also do block printing using a potato or any other vegetable take a potato cut in two two pieces carve any design you like on the piece you your block is ready dip it in water colors take a small piece of old cloth handkerchief or a paper press the block on it you can repeat it to get the design of your choice you can also use vegetable like lady's fingers or cut capsicum for this amazing facts nearly 50000 silkworms are killed to make one silk saree kusuma rajaya of hyderabad has come up with a method to produce silk without killing silkworms higher order thinking skills taking care of cloths is important to make them look better and help them last longer let us see how to take care of cloths we need to follow the instruction written on the tag of cloths cotton and synthetic cloths should be washed well with a good soap or detergent to remove all the sweat dirt and stains they should be dried carefully drying dark color cloths in in direct and bright sunlight for too long can be the colors dull ironing cloths makes them wrinkle free woolen and silk cloths need a lot of care they should be dry cleaned or washed gently with cold water they are easily attacked by small insects like moth and silver fish we should store like the woolen cloths with moth balls or dried neem leaves these will keep the insects away yes okay children